Donald Trump's comments shift the blame for the January 6th events onto Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington, D.C., a narrative embraced by conservatives who argue that security failures were a result of political adversaries' missteps. The assertion is that Pelosi and the mayor either failed to act or rejected crucial offers, such as deploying the National Guard. This interpretation frames the security breakdown as a responsibility that rests on the decisions, or lack thereof, by certain government officials. Trump's rhetoric suggests that the crisis stemmed from political opponents deflecting attention from individual accountability onto a larger systemic failure. But let me just ask you, you might ask her that question. You were the president. You were watching it unfold on television. It's a very simple question as we move forward toward another election. Is there anything you regret about what you did on that day? Yes, sir. I had nothing to do with that other than they asked me to make a speech. I showed up for a speech. I said, I think it's going to be big. I went to Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington, D.C., and the mayor put it back in writing, as you know. I said, you know, this is going to be a very big rally or whatever you want to call it. And again, it wasn't done by me. It was done by others. I said. I'd like to give you 10,000 National Guard or soldiers. They rejected me. Nancy Pelosi rejected me. It was just two weeks ago. Her daughter has a tape of her saying she is fully responsible for what happened. They want to get rid of that tape. It would have never happened if Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington did their jobs. I wasn't responsible for security. Nancy Pelosi was responsible. She didn't do her job. The question was about you as president, not about former Speaker Pelosi. The public's reaction to his remarks is colored by skepticism a growing mistrust in how the media portrays the situation, and suspicions of political agendas. The debate brings into focus a broader tension between personal accountability and the perceived failings of leadership. At its core, this is not just about a political blame game, but about how we, as a society, assign responsibility in times of crisis. Trump's comments touch on the challenge of maintaining personal integrity and authenticity while navigating a landscape rife with political power struggles. It's a reflection of how the public grapples with issues of leadership failure, moral responsibility, and the blurred lines between truth and political maneuvering.